What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're looking at a couple of new spots where you can place your alts to camp rare elites to make a lot of gold because I know a lot of you guys are enjoying these videos and you're especially hyped whenever you will get the the panda remix tunes all the alt armies you got made uh, on remix ready to camp stuff like this. Now if you already have all your tunes camped and you want to take a look at additional spots to camp, consider joining in on the VIP Discord, which I know a lot of you guys have recently, and a big thank you for that. The VIP Discord is pretty much like a Patreon where you support me as a content creator, but instead everything happens on a Discord server. So you get to watch all my YouTube videos before they're made public on YouTube, but you also get access to exclusive gold tips, spreadsheets like seeing whatever I am camping, investments, and much more. So that's uh, going to be linked down below in the description. And obviously, most people that are on the VIP Discord already has the zero to 10 million gold guide. Over 200 pages featuring the best tactics and methods that I'm personally using in order to achieve multiple gold caps. Not only that, but it also comes with a lifetime of free updates. So if you get it now and whenever we get the war within, the expansion after the war within, etc., I just update the same guide and send out the latest version straight to your mail completely for free. So if that sounds interesting, you can find them linked down below. Now, the first one is a bit of a wild shot, a recommendation from a viewer of mine, Melger, who is also on the VIP Discord. And it's this one right here in the Southern Barrens called the Geo Priest Guck Rock. Geo P Priest Guck Rock can drop this one, the Gnarled Hermit Staff, which is a unique appearance. There's no other item in the game that has this exact appearance. However, there's only been one posted on EU for like the longest time. Only one in the entire region for like half a million gold plus. And I haven't been able to get it myself. So uh, it says according to ATT and Wowhead that it should be in the game. Which makes a lot of sense with all the items returning to rare elites with patch 10.17. So if anyone out there is doing this camp and you successfully receive it. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, that would be really cool. And I really want to get one so I can be like uh, the only guy that has one available right now when we get pre patch for uh, the War Within, when it's easy to go on whatever realm you want to and buy auctions. It doesn't really matter which uh, like realm you post your uh, tr like ex super expensive transmogon because people will just move to whatever realm has them available and uh, purchase it on that realm. So really want to get that one. That will be really badass. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is actually a Dragonflight one, but I feel like it's super underrated. There's not a lot of people doing it now compared to uh, how many people were doing it in the past. And I suspect this one to be especially good in the War Within, when people uh, that didn't play around when the Sarlacc Caverns was uh, released, and now they needed the toy, because we are going to be camping this guy right here, Mr. Din. And the reason why we're camping Mr. Din is because he can drop a toy. And toys, they tend to do well. Specifically, the Din's drum. Din's drum depends on EU and NA. But the, the value on this, it says a Wowhead 95k to 120k. Not accurate. It goes for uh, way beneath that usually. But... um. It, the uh, rare elite right here doesn't spawn as fast as a lot of other rare elites spawned. And, well, I, at least I don't manage to kill them as often as I kill a lot of other things. That might also be because it is still a Dragonflight content, even though Saralek caverns are relatively dead. There's still, uh, there's still a couple of people wandering around in the zone killing stuff. So while we're on the topic of um, Dragonflight stuff that I camp... We should also take a look at the next one, which is in Emerald Dream, which is even newer than Saralak Cavern. So there's definitely going to be a lot of people coming back to the game for the War Within that doesn't have the item that we're camping for. And we're specifically camping for... Um, let me see if he's up right now as I'm logging in. That would be cool. Uh, but it is... Uh, God damn, he isn't. The location is all the way up here in Emerald Dream, and it's the Molten Binder Disciple. He drops uh, a toy. The toy is uh, as much as uh, this bad boy. 
right here, the Molten Lava Bowl. Relatively high drop chance, so while it has listed as 10.42%, which tends to be accurate on like newer things in the game. And the value in this one as well, like they tend to do really well, they tend to sell really fast uh, also. So a really good one to have stock, just something that you want to keep up on the auction house at any given time. So again, highly advise you guys to camp at least one of your tunes, if not two characters, uh, like it's spread out across different realms, war mode on, war mode off, it doesn't matter. Get on as many different faces as you can, at least until you have at least one of the items. So you have it up on the auction house. Now, the next one is uh, a classic, something that I've mentioned, uh, well, it's been a while now, so a lot of you guys probably forgot about it, or uh, maybe you haven't done it at all, but it's a battle pet, the first battle pet in uh, this video. I figured I had to throw in a battle pet one as well, and it actually uh, takes place in Wad, Warlords of Draenor, in the Shadow Moon Valley. We're of course talking about the Demidos, the Midos, which is all the way down here in Shadow Moon Valley. He drops the battle pet, the, the servant of the Demidos. So uh take a look on your realm. They, they're usually like five to ten thousand gold a pop, but not that tough to obtain either. And the sell rate tends to be quite good. So uh, an easy spot to camp on uh, most characters as well, as of right now, the mob scales to level 40 as well, so it's super simple to do. Now, by all means, I do got plenty of things uh, left to uh, make videos about. If you guys are enjoying this series of uh, like AFK camping your outs, I have a list of like a shit ton of mobs that I haven't tried to camp myself yet. That's uh, like haven't been added to the spreadsheet on the VIP Discord yet, but I'm going to keep on updating that as soon as I do. So make sure to check out the VIP Discord together with the 0 to 10 million gold guide, and I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, have a good one. Bye bye.